subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends. How are y'all? My name is Brandy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, I highly appreciate you. And I follow the WW. I am, I am set to maintenance, so I get 30 points today, but I share a lot of low point meal ideas. So whether you're set to maintenance or losing weight, you can take inspiration probably from my channel. So anyhow, um, I'm still asleep. It's Tuesday morning, I just woke up. I had really bad insomnia last night. Like, I don't know if I slept any. Try not to take my sleep meds because they like make me feel bad the next day and I haven't felt great. I've had like stomach, like very real nauseous and felt jittery. So anyhow, um, let's get into breakfast. We're gonna keep breakfast really simple. I'm gonna make like a little faux breakfast jack and some iced coffee. Yeah, uh, I haven't even had iced coffee the last couple of days. That's how bad I've felt. So let's get back on track today. But luckily today I'm working from home. I don't do that very often, about once a month. But I had an ortho appointment. So I just went ahead and worked from home today because it was like midday. Well, I'll bring you over here and let's get to cooking. The egg takes the longest. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. This is one of our friend's homegrown chickens. Man, I have that too hot. Whoopsie. Oh, well, it'll be okay. And then I have Canadian bacon that I buy from Costco. And this one, you can have three slices for one point. But I haven't had a very big appetite, and you can have one slice for zero points. So that's what I'm going to do. I just divided it out at home. It has like four of these. I've already used a few. Last night, it's so good, so I made a grilled cheese. And then I'm going to have it on one of these mini, well, they say they're regular hamburger buns, but they're pretty small. And they're only three points each. I just discovered these uh, a few months ago. And I like that they're only three points. So I'm just going to take the bun and put it down. And I did spray it with some cooking spray from Aldi. Okay. The best thing about this dinner is, or <laughs> dinner, breakfast, is it comes together so quickly. And then the last thing is just a piece of Velveeta cheese for one point. So I like a little crust to form. Flip it over. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. And then I don't like like a crate. If you put all that on there, to me, it's too much cheese. So even though you can have the whole slice for one point, I'm gonna take about uh, three fourths of it and put it on the top of my bread. That fits better. And I'll share this with my dogs. They enjoy it. But by all means, if you want it all, have it all. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Put that down there. I don't mind it see it being a little runny. And then the ham slice. And just top it. Ah, there goes my cheese. That's okay. And then with that, I think I'm going to have a side of grapes. Let me grab some grapes. I actually changed my mind and I'm going to have a little bit of cantaloupe. Just because it's exactly how much I have left. It's not the best cantaloupe. I was excited for cantaloupe. The outside smelled good, and I read that it was cantaloupe season, but oh well, it wasn't that good. <laughs> for my iced coffee, I just have some ice, and I like to add unsweetened vanilla almond milk just to give it added creaminess without having to add um, shoot, more creamer, like additional creamer. Any brand of almond milk works, and then Starbucks dark roast. Man, a viewer had suggested another type of cold brew coffee, and she said it was at Walmart, and I, t I was at Walmart uh, this weekend. I totally forgot to look for it. I hardly ever go to Walmart. Okay, and then my favorite creamer, the Zero Sugar Friends. Uh, it's like mocha and hazelnut. I really love this. I think it's a limited time, so I'm gonna be so sad when it goes away. And I add about a tablespoon for one point. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> Okay, friends, I'm going to go have my breakfast and log into the computer for work. But I did want to say this sandwich came together real time in less than five minutes. So it is super quick to make a breakfast sandwich. I do meal prep them often, but you really don't have to if you have just a few extra minutes. So let's go eat. Well, I'm going to go eat. Y'all are probably going to go watch the rest of the video. <laughs> I need sleep. I can't sleep.
Bye. Friends, I for totally forgot to say, this sandwich and breakfast is five points total. The bun is three points and the cheese is one. The egg and canadian bacon are zero, as is the cantaloupe. And then the coffee's one point for the creamer. Typically, I wouldn't count my first cup of morning coffee. I just never really have because used to the creamers I used were all zero points. So I just got in that habit. But I haven't been that great on track and whatnot. And I feel like I've been kind of overdoing it even though I'm on maintenance. So I'm going to track my coffee. So let's get um, back on track together. How about that? Okay, so five. I was getting back on track. And then when I started feeling good, it like derailed me, which is sad. But okay, breakfast is five points. Asher is up on his perch. He loves sitting up on the upstairs looking down. So he's like watching over me as I work. That's his favorite spot. Time for my ortho appointment, and here she comes to call me back. So I am heading to go vote. But we have these hearts like all around downtown Waxahachie. I'm not sure who painted them or whatnot, but then there's the part of the courthouse. I'll see when I leave if I can get a big picture. There is the courthouse and it's like a downtown, it's really busy, but it's a downtown, we got a downtown little square. But I finished voting, took less than five minutes, like seriously, like in and out and under five. Got my sticker. It was just for our local like um, school district and voting on bonds and stuff like that. Uh, so it was really simple and I did my research before so I know exactly who I was putting and what bonds I was voting yes or no for, yada, yada. So in and out. And now I'm gonna go drop off at the Amazon return and I'm debating what I want to do for lunch. It's only 11, but I'm getting quite hungry. And since I've been gone from the house, it'll be about an hour. I took off work to run these errands. I'm hesitant to go home and cook something, but yet I'm like, let's stay on track. So. What should I do, friends? What should I do? I was really tempted to get a sandwich at the sandwich shop downtown. There's one I love, but it gets busy and it was crazy down there with parking and everything and I just didn't feel like dealing with that. So, I don't know. Okay, to UPS store we go. I love when chores go quick and smooth. The UPS store in and out in under two minutes. So I am so proud of myself. I, when I don't feel well, I always want Chick-fil-A. It's like my comfort meal. And since I was out by lunchtime, I was like, you know what? Just go get Chick-fil-A. But then I held strong and I was like, no. If you, the excuse of being out of the house for an hour and needing to get back to work versus getting something to food, that's just an excuse. So I'm going to make food real. Going to make some of these bear chicken nuggets these are really good and I remembered that I actually have like hominy leftover I have some broccoli leftover both are zero points and I even have a little bit of mashed potatoes so I'm gonna make a plate with this I'm not sure what sides but I will show you and these are just instant potatoes so they're they're relatively low in points a portion of my chicken and get it in the air fryer get back to work And I will have to scan this because I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to try to look and see what one serving looks like, which is three ounces. So that's three ounces, which is about four chicken nuggets. I want a little bit more, so I'm actually going to have one and a half servings. So I'm going to have four and a half ounces. There we go. So I'm going to do those for about seven minutes and then I'll cook the rest of the stuff. So it may not be as good as Chick-fil-A, but it's way less points. This is gonna cost me eight points. It is six for this amount of chicken nuggets, the bear, it's 1.5 servings. And then two points worth of mashed potatoes and a whole bunch of broccoli and I did that on purpose. I will say the mashed potatoes are probably more like actually one point 
but I didn't weigh them. Um, it was just a fourth of a cup of the flakes uncooked was two points, so that's just what I went with. I did spray some, um, you know, that butter spray for zero points on the top of those, and then I added fat-free mozzarella on the broccoli. So, and I'm gonna have a Coke Zero. I hope that's okay, because my tummy's still not totally um, settled yet. But I am having my appetite back, so that's good. So let me hurry up and eat so I can get to work. I wanna show you these little, oh! <laughs> I wanna show you all these little nifty little gadgets I got. I kept seeing people talk about them, and they're basically to store your cords on your small appliances. Um, I think I got a package of, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for like ten dollars. I don't, maybe a little bit more. I don't actually remember. But um, I've only used one so far and I like it. And I used my rice cooker last night and so I'm actually going to add one to it. I think I'll go black. Why not? No, I'm going to go blue. Yeah, why not? Okay. So, I just figure out where I kind of want it. I don't, I don't know if I want to wrap it that way. Yeah, that way versus this way. I don't know if it really matters. I don't know if it matters which way you wrap it, but they just have like really um, good adhesive. And you can buy all different ones. I think I bought some of the cheaper ones. So, we'll see how they stay over time. Do I want it that way? I think the other one I got that way, but I don't think it really matters. The only thing is I have to make sure it'll like stick. Yep. And I will say the first couple times I did the other one, I was doing it improperly. I was winding it so tight that then I couldn't get um, the actual plug to stick in. So I think the key, especially for these smaller ones, is to not wind it super tight. If you pull it super tight, there's no room in the inside but this is one of those things you don't know you need it or would love it until you have it but man how good is that you see that that's just like so much better so anyhow but i don't love the rice cooker i like the little simple ten dollar one i had i had like a 10 or 15 dollar one from amazon that it only lasted like maybe a year year and a half but i loved it it had no settings it just had a push down button I will say it cooked my rice perfect every time, but it would go to warm after it finished cooking. I couldn't use that, it would burn. So right when it finished, I just always unplugged it. Whereas this one, I feel like I'm constantly getting mushy rice, like it's overcooking it. And I don't know what to do. I keep saying I'm gonna like weed more and whatnot, and I haven't. But from my understanding, you just cook, push the white rice button, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I'm measuring my water and rice the same as I did with the old one. So if anyone has any tips for this rice maker or another one, help me out, please. But I'm going to use it. I haven't taken like all my little uh, electronics out to put the cables on. I'm just doing it as I use them type deal. But anyhow, I did have a company from Amazon reach out and ask me if I wanted to try their rice maker. And I was really excited because I had purchased that one. And like I said, I don't love it. So I was like, oh yeah, for sure, I'd love to try it, you know? And then they told me they wanted me to like purchase it and then they would give me like a discount to purchase it. But then once I put published my video, then they'd pay me back. And I'm just not down for that. Uh, obviously I don't do a lot of PR stuff, but I know I'm, I don't wanna do that. That seems sketchy. Even if I wanted to buy the rice maker, it was like a hundred dollars. And that's probably more than I'm willing to invest in a rice maker. Had it been like a $15 one that I actually am probably going to buy anyways, then I'd have been like, yeah, because then I'm not out no loss. But after spending like 40 or 50 on this rice maker, I'm not then going to buy a $100 rice maker. Especially because I want to start eating lower carb. I just, I have a hard time coming up with like breakfast and lunch that are lower carb that keep me full. I don't know. But anyways, I need to get back to work. I was so good after lunch. I sat down to work and I'm writing these documents, you know, and your mind can wander, you can start looking at your phone. So I told Siri to set a timer for two hours. I did not open my phone. I did not look at anything but the document. And I was, I was doing really well. Uh, I responded to a few emails as they came in, but I really did good about not getting distracted. So that's good.
I don't know. Does anyone else have the problem when you're really busy at work that you tend to do like the low hanging fruit or everything except for what is like the deadline and the most important? I feel like I do that all the time and it irritates the crap out of me. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like I got an assignment just yesterday to put together this data and I sit down this morning and that's what I started working on. Knowing I have a deadline of May 8th for something that's super critical to not only me, but like a lot of people in lab. But why would I do the assignment I got yesterday that's not super critical? I mean, it's important, don't get me wrong. Why do, you, why do I do that? I don't know. But luckily, I was like, what are you doing, Brandy? To myself, and I saved the document, closed it, and haven't opened it since. I told myself from now until the 8th, I have one focus and one focus only besides doing like just the stuff I have to do to keep our lab functioning. So anyways, I uh, got that doc, the first document going and as far as I could, so I did pretty good. And now I'm gonna go start the second document that goes with that and see how far I can get today. But like I said, I set the, I'm rambly. Uh, I set my alarm for two hours, so I just wanna move like five to 10 minutes. If I was actually at work, I would be interrupted. I would be walking here to there to help people. So at home, I don't feel bad about taking a five or 10 minute little break to get a few steps in because I'm way more efficient working at home than I am at work just because of less distractions. I get a lot more done in the, a smaller amount of time. So I need to move. I'm only at 2,800 steps. So I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna get out in the sun and take one of my dogs for just like one block around the neighborhood. It'll be like five or six minutes only. Or I just don't feel like doing both. I'm too tired for that. I'll see what I do. Look at all my pretty birdies. Pretty birdies. See all the doves? We have tons of doves that hang out. And then we have those blackbirds with like, they're like red wing blackbirds. It has red wings and yellow. They're so pretty. Hi, Ash. So we took like the littlest walk ever. We literally just went like up and down the street but I took both of them and I took Rio first and I took Asher second. Ash, come on, babe. And do you hear Rio? He was throwing a fit. I don't hear him now, but he was throwing a fit. So we went 11 minutes, 0.6 miles, but some is better than none, right? And I have to watch little Rio because when he gets jealous, like he thinks Asher got something that he didn't, even though he went first. He will be ugly, so we don't allow that. Okay, back to work. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a protein coffee. That's odd, because I swear I had like a vanilla protein shake in there and it is gone. Like it was already open. I don't know, maybe my husband drank it. But the only other one I have is this. I have no idea how this is gonna be with coffee. Um, I'm gonna try it. I'll be the guinea pig for you. I've actually never had this one. It's fruit cereal. I will just do a small portion and see if it works. Like I'm talking about just like a drink real quick. Ah, made a mess. I'm always making a mess. Amazingly not horrible. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely do the munchies. I'm gonna put like a fourth of this. Yeah, that's probably like a, a third of the bottle and I'm just gonna use the rest of coffee. So, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this protein coffee combination, but it'll work. Okay, yeah, is that not the cutest ever? I'm not sure if you can see, I'll try to zoom in. But the donkey, sorry, I'm eating a cucumber and a banana for zero points. But the donkeys behind us, she had another baby this past weekend. So the baby is literally like two or three days old. And it's out there galloping, running, trying to like play. It's hilarious. Of course it stops when I come out here. But it'll come close, I'm sure, before I publish this video. And I'll show y'all um, a little more clip of it. Here's the baby. It's okay, baby. Here it is. It's been playing all day. I do not have anything for y'all. Nothing for y'all. So as I said, I'm just having a little snack. I'm having a Persian cucumber. 
just eating it straight like it is and i'm gonna have a banana afterwards i just really wanted to have a zero point snack it's about four and i am a little hungry but i'm gonna go try to lift weights after i eat these i haven't done it in quite some time i think it's almost a week just because i haven't been feeling great but i'm gonna give it a go tonight i may set it on recovery but i'm gonna have these first i'm gonna get back to my strength program i haven't worked out strength wise since last Wednesday and today's Tuesday, so it's almost been a full week. So that's scary and it's an hour. Um, the only other thing I've done is like yoga and meditate this week just because I haven't felt well. So wish me luck. I'll just show a tidbit from today. Okay, friends, I just got out of the shower. It's been about an hour since I worked out. It's actually 7.50 and I haven't eaten dinner or said anything about dinner all day because uh, I ordered Factor, which I've never done and I paid for it with my own money. I did have a coupon code. I think it was mailed to me in one of my pet med orders. But the thing about it was, is it's supposed to deliver today. Well, I never got tracking. And then finally about 12.30 or one, I think I got an email that was tracking and it was like axle tracking, which I had never heard of. And it said my window was like 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So like I've just been waiting. And thankfully then uh, about an hour ago, it started updating. It was like, okay, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. So thank goodness. Cause I didn't really have much options to eat here since I ate chicken nuggets for dinner and I did not want to go out. So let's get into it. And I've, like I said, this is my first time ever um, so I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but it was like $69, $70, like right around there. And I think I got like, um, well, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I got 12 mils, but I'm not so sure it, I'll order these again because they're quite expensive without a coupon code. I'm sorry. I'm tired. So that's why I'm sitting down. So let me take them all out and we'll go by, throw them one by one. Okay, I have two different stacks and I have 13 total, which I am like 90% sure I ordered 12. So I'll have to check my receipt on that. But the two different stacks are ones I ordered duplicate and then ones I ordered single. And the ones I ordered duplicate, I did so because I thought my husband and I would both like them equally. Um, there were other ones in this stack we'd both like, but maybe just not as much. And I was getting into a lot of chicken, so I didn't want to I didn't double up all the chicken. So I'll go through the ones I got doubles of first. So I got 
charl grilled burger and mushroom cream sauce and they do have the nutrition on the back and oh i didn't realize that's 690 calories i'm not sure how i'll figure out the weight watchers points probably what i'll do is try to put in the ingredients as best i can or maybe look online um or maybe even find a comparable meal with like restaurant or something that's comparable to the nutrition or can i scan the nutrition and it'll tell me hmm i don't know we got to figure that out but i got a burger with a cream sauce which i think that's my most calorie heavy meal and then i got buffalo chicken breast oh i can show you what they look like just through that so they're like tv dinners and they're fresh they're not frozen and this one's 610 calories two of those sun-dried tomato chicken with zoodles okay and this is one they gave me two of and i know i didn't order two so i think this is the extra because i wouldn't have given gotten my husband zoodles but 640 calories i guess that's not bad but i was surprised with the zoodles okay and then i got two garlic pork tenderloin this was the only pork meal so that's why i got two and it's 700 calories which again, I eat most of my points at dinner, so I don't know why I'm acting shocked. But I was thinking I picked ones around 500. I guess maybe I stopped paying attention. But anyhow, and then the singles, I got red chili ground beef tamale. That'll probably be for my husband. Um, and that is 600 calories. And then I got Mediterranean grilled chicken. This one was definitely for me. I really love Mediterranean flavors and it comes with a side of broccoli. And this one is 510 calories. Creamed corn chicken. This one's for my husband. He loves like a low taste and it has like a side of potatoes, which y'all know aren't my jam. 550 calories. Fiesta grilled chicken, which I can't really remember what this one is too much. It seemed different if I remember right. I seen some black beans in there and I think the side is zucchini. And that one is 420 calories. So that one's really low. And then blackened salmon, which is 100% for my husband because I do not eat salmon. But he was excited to get it this way. So, like I said, I don't know what we're going to have tonight. We may eat the same. We may eat different. But obviously, here in a second, I'll show you and tell you how it was. Um, I'll keep an open mind to ordering these. But like I said, it's quite expensive. I mean, $69 for these, all this, that's cheap, right? And I ordered so many because that's how you got the biggest discount. And believe it or not, I did not buy anything for dinner this week. Um, Monday night we ate leftovers that I'd cooked Sunday. And I didn't buy any dinner supplies because I plan to eat these all week. It's very busy work week. Um, and then my husband's leaving out of town. So I wanted things I could just eat on the fly. So that's what we're doing. And if we have any extras, my husband will use them for lunches. But that's it. I'll let you know, I, I bet if I ever order them in the future, it's probably like when my husband's traveling for work or I may just order a few. Um, I'm also really picky with prepared food, so they better be good. I can't force myself to eat stuff I don't love. So we'll give them a go and I'll let you know. And again, I totally paid for this with my own money. It's not like any of that stuff. Okay, I went with the garlic pork tenderloin those are the nutritions and i've been looking trying to figure out if like someone has a list for factor ww points can't find anything i'm maybe going to scan the this nutrition in and see how many points luckily i still have 16 points today because this was like the worst meal i ordered as far as calories go so but i don't know it was what i wanted so i just heat you poke holes in it and i heated it for two and a half minutes it says two minutes but i like my stuff like really heated up so it looks really good it smells good my husband's going with the salmon so it's a cauliflower asiago cauliflower mash under there we'll say it kind of you know all is your yours is right here mm. kind of all goes together but you know i'm not going to judge that and then pesto green beans which look amazing to me so I will eat it and then give you my review and do my best to come up with points. I can't imagine it's more than 16, right? And if so, I worked out and can use some activity points. Okay, friends, I am ending the night. I did the best I could taking the nutritional 
um, information from those factors. I couldn't find anything online. I was hoping I could find like a cheat sheet, Weight Watchers points for factory meals, but that didn't happen. So I did the best I could and I came up with 15 points for that meal. Um, I kind of regret getting the meals now because my husband just informed me he's out of town longer than I thought. And they're slightly higher calorie than what I remembered. And then figuring out the points is going to be difficult, but I have them, I'm going to eat them and do the best I can. Uh, so, but that put me today at 29 points, which isn't bad. I get 30 points a day, so I'm one under, but I also gained seven activity points today. So I could have had even a few more points, but it's nine o'clock, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to bed. Bye guys. Thank you.